Greetings, YouTube. Today we're looking at a cobalt. Oops, it's going to be difficult to do. Yeah. Cobalt, there you go. Um, 14 in 1 multi tool set, um, which I picked up for a song strictly to show off for a video. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I may just give them away because I don't need either of these knives. So we're going to look at the knife first because that's the simplest of the two, two tools. Now, this is an all metal uh, construction frame lock. This scale has some texture and shape to it. This is just a piece of flat metal um, with a single position uh, belt clip, or pocket clip rather, and it is a uh, right hand um, tip down carry, which tip down is not my prefer, I prefer tip up. Um, so that clip would have to would be here pointing in the other direction. Uh, it comes with a bottle opener, a kind of large robust bottle opener you'd be able to get bottles open without a problem um it comes with this little i guess a nail puller which i think is kind of weird to have that there there's i'll use my nail as a, as a light uh, as, a, as a, a light colored object behind it um as well as i guess a pry bar because it is sloped i don't just don't see myself using this because it's not very thick you would want to be very careful with the uh with prying things but while we're here the blade is uh is centered pretty well, so I'll give that I'll give that to him. Um, and these little cutouts for hex heads. Now I'll be honest with you, I have uh, seen a number of these over the years. I don't know if anyone's ever actually used them. Um, I just don't encounter hex heads where this would be the appropriate way of opening them. But then again, I carry an adjustable wrench with me everywhere I go, so I've got the whole hex head thing. A down pack. Because remember, this only works if you can access the hex head from the above, like this. So there's no post in the way, you know what I mean? So you can't make an adjustment on something which has a threaded rod or a bolt and, and the hex head at the bottom. This is very likely not going to work. And it's also going to be working very small. And how often do we counter hex heads that tiny? I, I have, I'm not going to lie. But not often, um, so I don't know if I have any idea. Hey, sorry, I have a cat doing something naughty in the background. Um, but yeah, I have not encountered many times when that would be appropriate. So this has got a double thumb stud. The thumb studs are really large. Look how, look how far they stick out behind the uh, beyond those scales. That's that's just obnoxious. That's that's way too big. That's a good. That's look at look at that. That thumb stud sticks out almost as far as the clip does and i have not put this in a pocket but that's definitely going to make it difficult to get out of the pocket that that thumb set is way sticks out way too far and because it's a tip up right hand only why do we even have a thumb stud on the on the left side you are never going to come from that angle yeah uh, i don't get it but again it's very stiff but that's okay um I'm all right with that. I would not. I, I could make an adjustment, but it would probably throw off the centering too horribly, um, and uh, that would be good. that would be bad. So we have the full thickness of the blade up to about two, three quarters, and then it starts to taper two thirds, three quarters. Um, you have a hollow grind, which is not my favorite. I prefer a flat grind, and then a secondary bevel, and it comes out of the box with not a particularly sharp. Yeah, there's, there's no real edge there. I mean, it'll cut stuff, but not real well. Um, I do kind of like the shape of this, I will admit. I kind of like that. I don't like the shape. Um, so you could very comfortably, you know, hold like this. You want to open packages and things like that. Um, this is very light duty, so this would be perfect for, you know, cutting up things to, for your lunch, opening mail and packages, cutting string, things like that. I would not want to try to do anything heavier. I'll give kudos to the fact that this is, you're at least you're secure. You're not going to slide up on that edge. Um, and there's no jimping here on the handle at all, but you don't really need it. Um, there is some here on the uh, lock, on the frame lock. And there is a very small ball bearing detent right there can you see that there you go there you can see that sorry the angle of the camera and angle of my eyes is not quite the same um i find this uncomfortable it just it's 
it's really if you look at the thick how thick this scale is and that would probably be too thin and look how wide this is you really want the hand to come halfway between those two to be really comfortable and because it's only half of the it just yeah it's not so yeah like this this is okay right here but if you do this it's very uncomfortable this is better because your finger is kind of that's not too bad but uh yeah again light duty I'm not sure who this appeals to. I really, I really, really don't. There you go. We're going to slide that over there. Now, so here is the multi-tool. Here's a little cobalt symbol. All metal construction. I'm not a shocker there. Um, and it's the pliers are have spring, a spring, which is nice, but That's kind of obnoxious. There's no sheath with this, so you're gonna have to find your own means of carrying it. And I guess you want to throw this into a desk or something at work. This is this is really heavy. Um, but yeah, so it's got a, a curve to it, which is purely probably purely aesthetics because it's a pair of pliers, so it should be able to work in either direction. But uh, I've not the first time I've seen a tool that had you know had a, had a curve to it. So first off. All the tools in the handle are accessible to the outside. Could someone at Leatherman buy one of these? That would be keen. Um, so we have this tool, which has got a full hollow. It's a knife. So I think in theory, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, it's not easy. You can't really do that with one hand. But you can get it out real easy because of that. And it's a, you know, pretty standard got a very shallow hollow grind but it's there and yeah, it's about as sharp as a knife was so not all that sharp uh but again opening letters and packages and stuff and this wouldn't even be useful for fruit really unless you wanted to cut the rind on a an orange um slip joint so no locking at all uh, other side is a saw and it actually has some decent saw teeth in there you know they're they look pretty good, and they're relatively sharp. Not the sharpest I've ever encountered, but not bad. But look how tiny that is. What are, what are you going to cut with that? Pencils? <laughs> you know, twigs for roasting marshmallows? I don't know. But. And then we have in here, we have this tool, which has a thumb flipper, which is nice. And it is a ream. And it's got the eye hole for actually doing... Uh, stitching, which is kind of cool. It has a single bevel grind on that, and it's not supposed to be sharp, which is fine, but it comes to a crisp edge, and the point is decent, and frankly, that actually would be a pretty good leather punch and ream. It really would. Um, I know that that's not what you consider to be a, an everyday task, but I've actually used this style. It was uh, in the Swiss Army knife, but I've used this style of ream for actually punching, punching holes in leather because someone's belt was too loose. And so we just put new holes in it. And that is, in theory, for stitching your gear because you can pass a line through there and it, it's, uh, wax cord is really good. So I've got this out. We're going to use that, use that to get... There we go. Get that one out. Okay. Lever that out. And again, everything's slip joint. Ah. Here we go. So this is another bottle opener that's a little less aggressive um, looking than the one on the knife. And this is supposed to be a can opener. This is a right-hand can opener. So you're coming at the edge and around a can. Uh, I've used that style. I've not used this one. It is not all that sharp, which would make using it as a can opener a little difficult because you actually want to be able to cut through the uh, the rim of the can. They can be used. Again, I have used this to open. This style had to open a can before, but it's tedious as I'll get out. Um, better to, if you're going to find yourself in a situation where you're going to be using cans a lot, get pull tabs. And look at you can go all the way through. The cut out actually goes all the way through the... I'll admit that's kind of aesthetically pleasing. Okay, on this side, we have... file there is no uh metal cutting teeth on this at all and it's got it's got good for nails i guess that's about it i don't think i need it for anything else on this side we have 
sheep's foot serrated. And they're pretty sharp, actually. That's not too bad. It's not bad for a sheep's foot serrated. Then we have two other tools. Here we have a standard screwdriver. Nothing to write home about. And then the last tool on the... Can we get it out? There we go. This is a Phillips, and it is uh, asymmetric. So the two grinds on this side are longer than the two on that side. So, not a horribly designed multi-tool. Um, the uh, pliers themselves are pretty duke, pretty cool. Wire cutters, the teeth mesh pretty well that way. But in this way, they don't line up perfectly. I don't know if you can see that. It's, it's subtle. I can feel it. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, not horrible. And whoop, if you have folks that like little gadgets, this might be something you get them. I like the spring. And overall, it's just a pretty decent everyday pair of multi of pliers. I do admit that the angle here, the width, I find slightly uncomfortable. It's a little bit wide for my taste. Um, but again, I don't have huge hands. Maybe if you have bigger hands, that's not much of a problem. It's thin, so I should be able to get into uh, places. That also means it's not going to be able to grip things as firmly because it's not as wide. Um, I don't know if I want to be gripping a lot of nuts with those at inner also it's weirdly teardrop shape normal aren't those no normally those are more of a an eye shape you know eyelet shape but yeah okay and then you got wire cutters i do like the spring i'll give them like i said i'll give them that and it's and it's pretty pretty got some oomph to it which is kind of nice so you know when you're holding something you're not going to have to worry about doing this with your finger to open your pliers, which I'm used to doing because my my multi tool does not have a spring to it. But it can be an unnatural kind of thing to do if you were not used to that. So having pliers with a, a spring can be nice for those that don't use them often. So this wouldn't make a bad oh, it's plastic. I just noticed that. So yeah, we got a plastic space filler here, um, which is purely for comfort. So sorry, it's alright. Um, so. This might not, might not make a bad stocking stuffer kind of thing, or you know, like a co-worker gift um, kind of thing. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily personally want to go out and buy one of these for my own use, because I'm not going to. I'm going to put them into a plastic bag together so people know that they come as a set, and I'm probably going to donate them uh, to Goodwill. Um, and I only paid like, I think $5 for this set. I get it on sale. So again, I purchased this just for the review and to show people what, what kind of quality Cobalt is putting out. And Cobalt is going to be kind of hit or miss. It's It tends to be upper, better than like things you get from Harbor Freight. Um, but a lot of the times I think they the people designing these knives and tools for, for a brand like Cobalt, Cobalt, Cobalt rather, not Cobalt, Cobalt, um, are not taking the user into account so much as just doing something that kind of looks cool and does it have all these different features yes okay then it's a multi-tool ship it yeah so your mileage may vary some folks are gonna not gonna mind this at all and some folks you know some people think hey this is really cool it fits everything i need which is awesome i i, I i'm happy for you if that's true um i think that it it lacks something um but you know, if you don't mind that, and you have a way of carrying this, because you don't have a doesn't come with a sheath, and you don't mind a a knife that is got geehaws on it. I don't think a knife needs. Uh, it kind of kind of cute. It kind of implies it's a flipper. <laughs> it is not a flipper. Take my word for it. Uh, yeah. Like I said, this is the Cobalt. Well, did they have a model number on this puppy? Yeah. Uh, there we go. 0879108, in case you want to know the specific model number. Um, but yeah, so there you go, folks. Cobalt 2-in-1, two 2-piece, two multi-tool set, 14-in-1, a multi-tool plus a knife that has multi-tool features as well. Um, and anybody out there who have these things and use them on a daily basis, tell me what your experiences have been. And anybody out there who really loves the Cobalt brand, um, 
drop me a note in the comments section below and tell, tell me of your love of cobalt tools.